Hi, welcome back to my studio. This is Ron Suchu. I'm the, the creator of the new art form, Synergy Art. And this is an art piece that is always done with two people, not one. And what I, this particular piece is done with uh, the famous bass player, Prakash John. And uh, what I do is uh, I paint the background in his favorite color or my Synergy partner's favorite color this time in the burgundies and the beiges and off-whites. And as it happens, I actually uh, uh, have, I listen to what's going on in, in kind of in the person's mind when they're inspiring the painting because after I do the background, they actually get a chance to paint on the canvas for whatever time they want, 10 minutes, five minutes, half an hour, whatever. And in this case, John, or, or perhaps John was uh, wanting to dedicate the piece to the indigenous people of North America. And uh, he, he, we actually, you'll see right behind my head there, there's an eagle's feather that's happened on the painting so far. And that would, you can go back into the past videos to see that. And he wanted it to be basically prominent, to show the prominent uh, uh, awareness of the indigenous people that we should uh, be proud of and, and pay attention to and honor. And in this respect, he, he asked to do the Canadian maple leaf uh, kind of uh, off of the, the side of the canvas and not overly prominent, but I'm actually doing a little twist to that is the real maple leaf is behind this uh, symbolic maple leaf that is, uh, I'm actually painting a piece of, of uh, uh, my impression of uh, native art. So, and I, I did, uh, like, I did in my painting juxtaposition, I, uh, and also in um, the painting of the 150th, I've actually uh, used other people's uh, techniques to paint. And I found in this one, it was, I really enjoyed it. I love the, uh, the native uh, paintings and especially the bright colors that they use. I really wanted to get involved with that on this painting. So I found a piece of art that I really enjoyed. I haven't copied it exactly. I've actually just taken it and used it as my influence and uh, did my own version of it. So you see it come together really neat, uh, uh, quickly and, and uh, in a... Uh, pre-planned form, uh, I actually had a chance to meet Christian uh, Morris, uh, Morisot, who's uh, Nouvelle uh, Morisot's uh, uh, son, and uh, he's a very, very prominent Native artist in Canada. I've actually watched him work a bit, and uh, that helped me to get to a point where I could understand how uh, the Native art has this... Uh, it's a very graphic but beautiful, uh, beautiful form of art. Very flowy, and uh, it just seems to have its own life. And the way uh, I, I noticed the way uh, he did it was to actually lay down the color blocks first, and then outline it with the black, which makes a lot, a lot of sense. Or they might outline it with other colors, but in this case, I'm doing using the black. And in this piece, it's the, uh, a native. Uh, a woman and a child, and um, they're playing the drums, and uh, they're actually, if you look very, very closely at the, the face, there's uh, lines that portray uh, or represent the, their, their singing or chanting. So this becomes, if you look closely also, the way they fit the maple leaf, uh, the natives be believe that all, we're not only attached to nature, we are uh, totally a part of nature. We, we, all pieces of nature, although they're independent, at the same time they're only one one thing, one one being. The, the entire earth is one being, and we're all just a, a tiny part of it. And that's the way I tried to portray this piece in here. I had a lot of fun with it. It's uh, uh, I got a chance to use purple. Uh, one of the synergy pieces coming up is going to have a lot of purple in it. Actually, the very next one is going to have purples, blacks, and whites. And uh, I kind of avoid purple, although it is my favorite, favorite color, because it, the photographers and printing uh, uh, printers that uh, do my work for limited edition prints, uh, they're always really, really challenged with purples. <laughs> I guess it's just something that 
machines don't uh, seem to have uh, the ability of reproducing as closely as they want. I believe that we're going to get away with this one because this is going into print. There will only be a hundred prints of this one and uh, we will be using an eight color process to get it. So we should be able to come very, very close to this. Uh, this is very unusual to see su suchu art that looks so uh, 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 graphic and uh, I uh, I don't know what to say about it. I, I think, you know, uh, the Synergy art, every painting I've done and every painting I will do, I, I, I'm amazed with it because I do not know what the painting will be when I start out. I actually can only see it as I go th maybe halfway through it or, or three quarters of the way through it. I start to see exactly what the canvas is telling me. And this one, we're going to close off fairly quickly here because uh, the, the videos are short. But uh, uh, this painting is almost done. You'll see it uh, the next time we will have it completed and I'll describe the rest of the few details that we'll uh, be putting in. Anyway, you know what? Until next time, come back and see it and see the finished piece when I, and I'm going to actually show my uh, varnishing this piece so that you get a, a chance to see what's happening there too. Okay, guys. Until next time, thanks for visiting my studio and we'll see you later. It's Ron Suchu signing out. Bye-bye. Easy, Skippy.